Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're taking a look at an NBA GM's Top Shot collection and portfolio. So obviously, NBA GM's know a lot more about anyone on YouTube or probably anyone else actually on Top Shot for that matter about what players are going to be good in the future, who they think has some promise, and just who they're buying should give us a pretty good idea of who we should be targeting as well. So Daryl Morey, if you don't know, has been a longtime NBA GM and is now the president of basketball operations for the 76ers. And he also handles the GM duties as well for the Sixers. Obviously, the Sixers just lost in the playoffs, had a really good season. I mean, we're one or two plays away from being in the Eastern Conference Finals. So he put together a best Sixers team that has been in a while and he was the Rockets GM here from 2007 into 2020 and then this year was the 76ers GM also NBA exec of the year in 2018 so definitely a legit GM one of the best GMs in the NBA so let's come back to Top Shot and just check out what he has in his collection and things that he's bought so if you come down to certified ballers he's the first one here it says he's new but I looked and he's been on since April or March I think so it's not really that new of an account obviously we're towards the end of June here so looking at his overview he has 58 total moments he's completed three challenges and created four showcases so he's actually really into top shot here um, doing challenges and showcases and all that, which is cool to see. And then looking at his moments for sale, obviously he has some great moments and selling these for absurd prices. Two listed at 250, two listed at 100 grand each. Um, but let's just view all of his moments. So we can see guys that he likes. Obviously he likes Halliburton and Edwards, the rookies. Obviously he likes the MVP, Jokic. Kind of interesting here, he likes Drew Holiday, and Holiday just signed a large contract. That's probably the reason why he likes him, because he's going to be locked in as a top paid player for a while. Another interesting one here is Lonzo Ball. So he's got Alonzo Ball, hollow icon. He has two Oladipos, which is fairly interesting as well, because he used to be the Rockets GM. And obviously the Rockets had him, not when Maury was there, I believe. Uh, but he has two of those moments. And then he has an Isaiah Joe from the 76ers. So obviously he had a part in bringing in Isaiah Joe and believes in him as a player. And he bought a pretty high-priced Isaiah Joe here. Another interesting one he has is a hollow icon Lou Dort. So he thinks that Dort could be a pretty good player in the league, which he kind of had a breakout season this year where he had to take on more of a scoring role. So interesting that he has a Dort there. Obviously, a Zion, Steph Curry, Matisse Thibel from his own team. Also, he has all these listed, like 35000 base for $999. Um, so he's just throwing out crazy listings i think like every single one of his moments is listed all right and let's check out his account on own the moment so if we go just all time it looks like in april is when he first started collecting and bought a ton of moments and then had a huge dip off so he joined kind of at the wrong time it looks like unless he sold off some stuff but then you can see his account went down to when we hit like the bottom in early June. It was 45. Spiked just recently up to 67,000. Now it's back down to low 50s, 52. Um, let's look at some of his moments here. So if we filter by purchase price, these are the ones he actually has bought. So he bought a Luca, lost $20,000 on that one, which is insane and some other guys he bought so he did buy the Halliburton and the Edwards he bought a Harden which is pretty interesting because um, obviously he was with the Rockets when they had Harden 
and he wasn't a part of trading Harden, so he still likes Harden as a player, and he bought that one just, I guess, back in March. Hmm, that's weird. We can't get back farther. I'm on all time. Huh, they won't let you see back farther than a couple months, I guess. So maybe he's been on Top Shot for even longer than I was thinking. Um, yeah, so he bought that Matisse Thibel. He bought that Dort. He bought a Mitchell Robinson, which is interesting that he likes Mitchell Robinson as a long-term player. He likes Ben Simmons still. Um, hopefully they'll, he'll hold on to Ben Simmons and not flip him after that performance. And then we got a Tobias Harris also on the Sixers. And then he even spent his time buying these under $100, which is crazy for a guy that makes millions of dollars a year to spend the time buying all these. Oh, you know what this is? These are for the challenges. So I believe these were maybe the uh, Cool Cats challenge. You needed McConnell, Green, all these guys. So he went after some challenges, it looks like. can't exactly remember what challenges these were. I think it was the Cool Cats, but... He's, he's into Top Shot, so he uh, was going through and buying these for these challenge moments. And then the next thing is just people gifting him stuff, unless he got these in packs. I don't think it's possible to see. These might just be packs that he's opened or people gifting him, but definitely don't gift gift these guys the certified ballers don't gift them stuff they make millions of dollars a year they don't need your 10 10 20 dollar moments here um those yeah those might be just from packs i'm not exactly sure so yeah that's the video i just thought it was interesting to look at an nba gm see some of the guys that he's targeting long term some of the ones i thought were the most interesting was mitchell robinson lou dort and lonzo ball as well as the rookies Halliburton and Anthony Edwards. So he likes those guys as long-term plays. Obviously, he has a lot of 76ers just because he's the GM of them. So I just thought it was interesting to get kind of a perspective of an NBA GM, see what he's investing in in NBA Top Shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, check out the other videos on the channel and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.